Hi, my name is Johanna and I'm one of the members of the Board of Young Collectors of Art Jakarta. Hi, my name is Evelyn and I'm one of the collectors in Indonesia. Selama pandemi ini lo ngapain aja sementara? Udah enam bulan ini. So, I worked from home, then uh, actually I'm in retail business, right? So the mall was closed, uh, I had to close Il Bisonte. And I started baking actually, and I started um, doing catering, healthy food. And then after that, when I got so you know, fed up with cooking at home and literally working in, in, in a homey space, so you, you know, you don't feel comfortable anymore. So I started just leaving, I went to Bali and I started surfing. Kalau aku dulu, I always wanted to study something related to art. Tapi my dad is very uh, strict karena aku anak pertama cewek. Jadi I have to study related to business. So I took accounting and economics. And uh, but then I told my dad I want to study in London because I know if I have to study economics, well everything's about numbers. Uh, I'll be like in the library. <laughs> my God. Yeah. So. In London, I have the uh, privilege to go to the museum for free and to see any other museums, uh, exhibitions, and but I guess kalau mau benar-benar koleksi, we have to get to know really well what we are collecting is. Kalau misal aku, misal contemporary art, so I have to know everything about contemporary art. Jadi ada French philosopher called Pierre Bourdieu. Dia bilang there's no such thing as good or bad taste. One can cultivate taste through education. Which di sini, kalau kita lihat art, kita nggak bisa cuma lihat oh itu bagus, oh itu jelek, oh ini bagus, eh ini apa sih kok bentuknya kayak begini, ini art, harganya segini gitu. Nggak bisa kita nggak bisa lihat layer layer layernya kalau kita nggak baca. So I think it's it's very important to read a good art books, yeah. I've always been interested since I was really young. I think maybe similar uh, issues with you, right? Um, no, for, for me, because I, I played the piano, it's another form of art, right? But um, I played when I was three, so I was really young. And in school, I had difficulty choosing because you can only choose one, either music or art. And so I chose music. So there was always something that I find missing, you know. And it was here in Indonesia that I really uh, was exposed to international art, Indonesian art. Uh, the community is so tied together, as, as we know. And the people are so enthusiastic, right? And I, I personally don't read as much books at all, maybe only a couple, a few, a couple. But uh, I think I do talk to a lot of the the people that have been collecting for a long time and you know traveling just meeting people actually you can getting more knowledge somehow, yeah. yeah so the knowledge is through you know transferred to me and but you're right yeah you can't really just evaluate a piece of art from what the eyes can see yeah it's all is much much deeper than that Jadi lu kalau beli art itu ada certain kriteria nggak maksudnya oh atau cuman kayak oh ini gue suka gue beli. Mm, for me, for me I think it has to reflect myself. Uh, I think reflecting you is what art is supposed to be uh, for me yeah because uh, when you just like something we like so many things we're human beings right um, so I think a good reflection of your values and you as a person I think it's important. Do, do you agree? Do you? Uh, yeah, uh, so far, so I think I found that um, there are two important currents in contemporary art that, that a work of art should have. Some currents is very important in contemporary arts. Pertama, uh, obviously, after the Cold War ends, and then there's no first, second, third, and fourth worlds anymore, art becomes no more art movements. Art becomes like a content driven art. You agree, right? Um, because the artist now can use any medium to use to create art. And I think ini negara-negara yang bekas jajahan ini, artis-artisnya kan sekarang sudah mau pengen menyampaikan sesuatu. Mereka mau challenge the meta narrative, the grand narratives of the western hegemony yang adalah mostly made by white heterosexual male. Yeah. 
Maka oleh sebab itu tema-tema seperti feminis, uh, identity politics, anti-racist, gay and lesbian come up. Kamu kalau beli karya influence diri kamu nggak? Kayak misal once you bought this and then uh, it influence you in some way. I don't know, maybe your life atau anything. It doesn't influence, it reflects and it brings out something that might have been buried a little bit uh, and it sort of uh, feeds to my soul a little bit because when you know, uh, yeah. when it's at home and you look at it, it's something, I mean, you don't always think so intellectually when you're lounging around in your in your living room, but then when, when you look at it, right, you, you it sort of sparks something that you actually believe in. So yeah, I think uh, it's a very good reflection of who I am. So it's like when you, sh- I think when when you show your art to people, they sort of see a little bit, like a little peek into you, you know, of who you are. Yeah. Is there a particular art that consistently attracts you? Yeah, basically all the criteria that is uh, related to contemporary art, itu pasti attract. Aku untuk get to know more about the arts. Jadi yang pertama mengenai yang tadi efek dari globalisasi dan dekolonisasi, dan yang kedua ya about our times now that we are one world, we are uh, blurring boundary between reality and and um, technology. Uh, I think itu yang bikin aku attract so far. Okay, so I have like a few things that that um, I find. Very interesting. Uh, it's human relationship. So human relationship is something that's always been a struggle from the very beginning of cavemen. I think until now, it's something that has always been very complex. That's why we have wars, right? And it's always a history repeats itself. And and I, I really value artworks that have to do with these relationship between humans. So I think that's that's one of them. Uh, and I also very much love when there's a little bit of music in it because because of your music. background, yes. Yeah, uh, and I think that interrelation, juxtaposition of music and art, which you know, it's like the bigger broader sense of the arts, is a beautiful conjunction together and correlation. You know, so that's what I love. I'm new in collecting. What 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 is your method? advice to this younger collector? I think there is no right and wrong. Uh, what you say is it's true, you know, obviously when you educate yourself before you do anything, it's always going to be the best idea. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you, you have to make, sh- just to make sure that you, you truly, truly like it. And, you know, can you look at it again in five years? Um, are you going to connect with it in five years? Uh, is it going to represent you in five years? And if it does, just go ahead, right? If you if you like it, you love it, you flex, you go ahead, you know? Yeah, they need to come for short term, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. But I think for now, the Indonesian artists are, are getting yeah. much more exposure than before. You know, uh, a lot of the galleries are participating in, in many of the international art fairs and or biennales as well. But I think the, the government should should really invest a little bit more in, in the importance of the arts, uh, which I think would help because right now it's all the private individual that is so passionate. They're the ones that that's bringing all the artists out, right? Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a shame, but but I'm sure I'm sure one day, you know, because right now we have uh, Mitra Musim Jakarta, right? There's more foundations that's working together instead of just individual. So everybody's helping each other to you know, to better Indonesian art scene. So I think that's, that's a good step. <laughs>